Hey guys, I wanted to update you guys on a few things going on with the channel with right now and a few months, etc. Because you know things always are destined to change and hopefully for the best. But I'd have to thank it off by saying thank you, the last few months haven't been the easiest. Especially since I'm just now coming back from, you know, me quitting. I didn't really quit. I had to take a break, like literally if I had a choice, I wouldn't have... But for my own reasons, I stopped for a few months, if you remember, at the beginning of the year. I came back in, what, like June-ish? And I've been working really hard to get the fan base back up since then. And I just want to say a thank you to everyone who's stuck by and who's watched so far. It's really awesome, and I really appreciate you for it. Of course, not everyone is watching, but thank you to those of you who have taken the time out of your day to actually do that. And hopefully in the future, we'll get many more showing up. Alright, with that out of the way, I did want to just get some things straight and ask you guys a few questions. First of all, right now we're main LPing Ratchet and Clank and Rayman Legends. Now, Rayman Legends is going pretty slow, if you've noticed. I've uploaded, like, what, 12 episodes, and it's just now finishing up World 1. Would you guys rather me do it the way I've been doing it, where it's one level per episode? Or would you rather me do the whole world in one episode, where it's, like, 20 minutes long, and get it done like that? I would do something a little smaller, but a little bigger than one episodes per thing, like I'd do like maybe two or three levels, but I feel like that would be inconsistent, and if people were looking for it as a guide, people wouldn't enjoy that as much. But if it was a whole episode of something like that, then then it was just like, you could look at the description, and I'll have every time link coded out, and it would make a bit more sense. And I don't know, in my head, that's what's making sense to me, is to do a whole entire world just in one part. Not only that, but that'll make the LP really short, which... You know, stinks in some reasons, but it's also great in others, so I can finish up other projects, which I have a lot of those, and just start different ones. With the other projects in mind, I know I have a lot of unfinished ones right now, and the reason why I started so many was because, you know, I, when just coming back, I sort of wanted to see what you guys would be interested in. Because when I started all those projects, I wanted to make videos, but I didn't have my PS3 to do Little Big Planet karting, and I didn't have my Wii to do Super Mario Galaxy 2. So I was sort of stuck when it came to videos you guys wanted, so I just tried different things to see who would be interested in what, and I found some answers, um, some yeses and noes. So, you know, I'm just going to upload what works and what you guys really want. If I get a lot of demands for Yoshi's Island, I'll upload more Yoshi's Island. If I find a lot of demands for Saint Row 4, I'll upload more Saint Row 4. But if I don't, then I don't think I'm going to update the projects that much unless I really, really want to. I'm sorry it has to be that way, but I don't know, I'm just sort of exper experimenting and seeing what works and what doesn't. It's important for you t as a channel owner to do that, in my opinion, so you can know what you can do and what you can't do, really, what you can get away with and what you can't, and really just, like, see what people will enjoy to the maximum. And that's what I'm trying to do, at least, you know. Criticism is always welcome if you have something to say that's either positive or negative. I really would appreciate it. So, I was planning on doing The Puppeteer, which is a PS3 exclusive game made by Japan Studio. It comes out on the 10th of September, and I was planning on doing that, but I don't know anymore. I don't think I will, just because of Rayman Legends and Russian and Klein taking up so much time on the channel, my different series that I could touch upon, all that kind of different stuff sort of getting in the way. And not only that, but I'm running into a bit of a money problem that I'll explain a little bit later, but I don't think I'll get to LP the Puppeteer, which sort of is a bummer because I thought the game looked really, really cool. I mean, it's not definite that I want LP it, but as of right now, I'm looking at it, no. It's sad, but, you know, we'll get by, and I'm sorry to anyone who might have wanted to see it from me, it looks like a great game. Okay, and another thing I wanted to talk about was the PlayStation 4. Ooh, I actually successfully pre-ordered it from Walmart the other day. So, anyone, I give you, I'll give you guys a quick tip. If you guys are looking for the PS4 and you can't find it anywhere, look on Target and Walmart. They don't sell it in stores, but they sell it online. And for Target, at least, you'll be able to get first day shipping, but they sell, like, the $580 bundle while Target sells the 520 bundle, but they don't have first day shipping. I went with Walmart, and the thing is, is that I probably will get it like a week after it comes out, which is like, that's a lot better than mo what most people are, because it's like, trust me, if you're trying to buy this, 
without pre-ordering it, you're going to have a pretty hard time from what it's looking at, because all the pre-orders are selling out everywhere. It's going to be months before they restock and be able to actually just have some ready to buy in stores that aren't pre-order. Or just put down or something. So I really suggest you get one now while you still have the chance, people. It's going to be an amazing system, and I can't wait for mine. But there come some big issues. I've been looking into information, and there's certain outputs. If you understand video and TV stuff, PS4 doesn't have a component and output. It only has HDMI and output. Now that's a problem because it doesn't work with my HDPVR, my preferred and only recording device. Which means that I'll have to buy a recording device. But even that is a little bit of a risk because nobody has officially confirmed that the HDMI output isn't encrypted. Now what that means is that HDMI has an encryption for copyright so you don't record Blu-ray movies and then put them online. Which is fine, but some on the PS3 what happened is they encrypted the HDMI video games too. So even if I had an HDMI recorder, I wouldn't even be able to record my beautiful PS3. <laughs> but um, I'd have to record it through component. But there's special special things for that. And that's my big huge worry, is that I'm going to get this recorder and then get the PS4 and it won't work together because of the encryption. I'm praying so much to Sony please don't do this, because I really hope they won't, and they won't be stinkers. Of course, the PS4 has its own internal recording device, but I can't, like, I can upload that to YouTube, that's great, but I can't commentate that, I can't edit it, you know, I can't do what I'm sort of known for doing on the channel with it, you know, so it's not really that satisfactory for me, I'm sure it doesn't upload it any higher than 480p, which is also not satisfactory for me, mm -mm, I'm not gonna upload it at that low quality. But that's just my little rant, and that's a little cash problem. I mean, I have the money to buy a new capture card, but then I have to buy a new HDTV, because this one doesn't have HDMI output, and it's just a huge mess. It's going to be a little more expensive than I planned on it, and that's why I can't do things like the Puppeteer. If I save up money and manage my finances right, though, I'll be fine with the PS4. Everything should be set to go. Just about a week after it comes out, maybe you'll see some videos on Mac. And that's my excitement for it. I'm also trying to contact some smaller publishers to see if I can't get some type of press copy for some of the PS4 games. I know I have some press copies coming along, though. If you really liked my Rayman review, if you really liked my Gone Home review, you should be excited because I have reviews of different games coming up. I know I've been accepted for... Go um, excuse me. Eh. Um, I've been accepted for Foul Play, which is a Steam indie game, and I've also been accepted for Tetrabot and Co., which is a, another Steam indie game. They actually made blocks that matter, if you remember that game. I've been accepted for those two, so you should be seeing those two come out within the next month or two, because uh, Foul Play comes out September 18th, and Te Tetrabot and Co. comes out on October 10th. So yeah, in the next few months, you'll see a few more reviews from me, which will be awesome. And besides that, what else do I have to mention? Hmm. So, there is one thing I'd like to mention once more, is in a week from now, I actually move apartments. If you know, I live in a very cramped one-person apartment with my mother and stuff and stuff. But, um... In the next week, we're actually upgrading apartments. I'll have my own room. I'll, I'll have privacy for once. <laughs> Which will be great, you know? I'll be able to actually live stream. I... I would love to live stream, but I've really been itching to live stream. But I just don't have the time or space here. Like, literally, there's no physical space and there's no space because people are always moving in and out. So it's like, with this extra space that my uh, the new apartment will get me within the next week or two, we're going to move in. That'll be awesome. I want to stream a lot of games because, you know, Paranautical Activity just got put on Steam. I'm buying Splunky today, and I'm really excited to. And I'm going to be playing it, and hopefully it's amazing. And Binding of Isaac, Binding of Isaac Rebirth comes out next year. And then different games like, you know, um, what's it called, Eugenics. You know, when that comes out. I, I don't know, it's exciting. It's exciting indeed. And that's about it, though. Um, I don't think there's that much more I have to add on the updating of the channel. Please tell me what you think of the Rayman Legends idea I mentioned in the video in the beginning, beginning of the video. I just short videos or long ones and yeah anything else you want to tell me, me your thoughts on go ahead and tell me them in the comment section below thank you guys so much for being awesome and i'll see you guys later